okay, one of the things that we have to do in order to get on machine probing working on our machine is that we need to make sure it's implemented in the post. So what I have opened is Post Builder, and I've got Post Builder 9 open here. And so I am going to modify a post so it's got the probing cycles in it. So all I need to do is go ahead and open my existing post. And for here, I'm going to use this mill 3 ax that's just in the default mock resource post processor folder. Then I click on NC data definitions. I click on other data elements. Then I'm going to click on inherit UDE from a post. Then I'm going to right click in some empty information here, empty space. Uh, click on new. And now I'm going to uh, find a post that I'm going to go ahead and inherit here. So I'm going to click on select post. And so I went ahead and installed NX9 along this path. So those C apps, Siemens. I went ahead and created these folders here. But what you'll see as you navigate through the folder structure, you'll see mock, resource, and then this post processor folder. This is where um, out of the box post processors are and for NX. And if I go ahead and scroll down here towards the bottom, there should be something that says probing cycles. And so right here I can see I've got probing cycles for FANUC and probing cycles for Siemens. So I'm going to select probing cycles for FANUC. Say open. And it's, it's going to give me a, a warning message here. I'll just say OK. And I'll say OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to say uh, swoosh test. Okay, so, so I've got that saved. Um, so, so it should be good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and close it. Now we've added the uh, prob probing cycles uh, to our mill 3 axe post.